Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to uh, continue on with our series, Don't Do This. This is number four in the series. And as you can see in this large room, it's either a recreational hall, maybe a church on the weekends. I see a lot of these come through in the room forms. Our biggest problem is always going to be reverberation times. Now what are reverberation times? It's the reflections off of the wall surfaces and the floors and the ceilings. So we have all of these reflections that when we add them all up, we get a, a number called reverberation time. And the biggest contributor to that, which this room has lots of, hard surfaces. So how are we gonna treat all of this? So we know that roughly every surface contributes 17% to the problem. So if we treat run surface, we get a 17% solution. We treat another one, another one, and now we're at what, 51%. Is this enough to have an audible impact on reverberation times? One would think, but it's not. So we got to do another surface. Now we're getting somewhere. So a lot of you, when you call, I always say we need 70% coverage minimum to have the acoustical benefit of managing the reverberation times. And that's where I get it because we've done so many. I know from experience that that's the truth. Doing three, four gets you towards the goal. So that's why we always say do the four walls. And then if we need more, we'll go to the ceiling. And there's your reasoning. Because th that's four surfaces gives us what we need to have in terms of coverage, critical mass that we need. Okay? So look at the other photos here and you can see the ceiling ornamentation which is not going to help us much with putting treatment up there. So we're going to have to go above that for the treatment. All right. And then if you look around, we see a lot of windows in the building, but at least in this particular example, they have fabric over them. So, and then the floor is, is unbelievably beautiful, but the worst surface you could have for sound. Now we know on the floor that when people come in, and start filling up the floor, we know that every person is about the equivalent of 12 square feet of carpet. So if we get 100 people there, got 1,200 square feet of carpet, that's usually good enough to call the floor treated and go ahead and log that into our column. Okay? So it just depends on how many people you have versus the size of the building. If the building seats 500 and you have 100, it's not going to work. Okay, so these are some examples of what not to do uh, in terms of having a room to deal with and what to do in terms of treatment. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.